starting off today, we have a little bit of a water leak. I just threw my paper towel away. Is it the hose clamp or is it the actual? I don't know, I'm gonna find out. Oh, it's, it's leaking here. The water flowing through this line goes to our high tunnel. We're trying to pre-soak the soil. That way when we go to till it, it's not bone dry. So maybe you need Teflon tape or just tighten or it? Or just tighten it. If that don't do it, then we'll have to re-teflon it. But for now, I think it's gonna be good. But look at how even the stand is. Yeah. Whereas the reds, maybe we left them in there too. I saw, that's what I said, I was afraid of. They're still coming. They're still coming. So I say we take these over and we bring them out. Yeah. Usually dad comes first into the greenhouse every morning. Just make sure everything's okay, open stuff up if it needs to be, but it's usually kind of early, so we don't like to open stuff up yet. After he comes home, me and mom come down, or all three of us come down, we kind of just talk about what's gonna go on for the day, whether I'm seeding or we're transplanting stuff. And at this point in our greenhouses, we don't all three really need to be here. We might have some family members come and do some transplanting, help out, but usually dad, or myself is off doing something else and mom's in here or mom and dad are off doing something else and I'm in here. But we are at the point now where one of us needs to be in the greenhouse basically all the time during the day. Probably my first and favorite thing I do every morning in the greenhouse is come into the seed room and check what I've seeded and see what's coming up that hasn't been up the previous day. All of my peppers that I did in my previous video are still not coming up but they take a little bit longer. Things like the marigolds, they do come up either the next day or the day after. This is actually Celosia. And the marigolds, I think, yeah, they're right here. Which as you can see are doing very well. Stand is probably 90, 95%. And our begonias are still growing, slow but sure. You can see they were seeded on 2.8. But finally now, they're getting to the point where you can actually see them without getting out a magnifying glass to see what's going on. Right now, dad just wants me to check everything Make sure it doesn't need any water for like the next hour or two because me and him are gonna go winterize our pumps. Also in my last video, I told you how dad was fertilizing and geez, in like a day or two, we notice a huge difference. All the stuff that in blossom now, it's grown outside of the pot. And so now today mom's excited because she said it's basically gonna be a trimming day. We're gonna get these trimmed up if something like that needs to be trimmed. Things like marigold and zinnias are probably one of the fastest growing things, but they also take the most water. And I guess that's probably because they grow so fast. On the floor, mom's got her planters done. Maybe you guys can tell me which ones you like the best. We got this kind of pot. We have this kind of pot. We have kind of like the plain black on here with a little bit of a design in here. Then over here, she's got the rectangular ones, kind of the same color though as over there. And that's it for right now. But she's gonna still plant much, much more. This is just the beginning of it. And then what she's throwing inside of these is like a bacopa, uh, celosia, uh, petunia. Uh, I can't think of the name of that one. And kind of like some double, there's another petunia. There's more bacopa, stuff like that. This one has a spike in it, verbena. Uh, kind of the same for that one. This is that new plant mom got this year. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Begonia over here. These will look so much better in about three weeks when the whole thing is filled out. So drag it over. What? Sorry. Take these off too. We'll have to see if they're green. As long as we take these off. So the first thing we gotta do is take off this arm here, or at least loosen it so we can lift it up and then spin this head off here. Wow, why won't that open? I know I'm gonna get a bath here. 
there. Ready? Yep. Might have to throw it in the kill switch on. Wow, look at that muddy water coming out. The pump might have some dirt or debris in it, so the first thing we want to do is run some water through and flush that out. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to use it this year. That'd be neat. Just in case there is some water left in it, now we're gonna dump it out. Make sure there's no water left anywhere, hopefully. That way, if it does happen to freeze one more time, we don't need to worry about it. Easier said than done. That one pulls good. All right, now we'll tip it that way. Dad's drilling a hole in the end cap, and you'll see why here in a little bit. This is our bigger pump that sucks the water straight from the pond and pumps it up through our underground lines. The first minor problem with it is the coolant reservoir crack from sitting out in the sun. It's going to be a tough one. Because I know this is brittle. If my pocket knife will do it. The hardest part about it was finding the same part. Replacing it was fairly easy. So the reason we had to replace this was because it had a hole in the bottom and you could see Dad tried to repairing it with some tape and some kind of epoxy but and it worked but now we got a new one to put on you already mixed that yeah this this comes 50 50. this is where that cap comes into play you can see here is where the water will exit now that dad's blowing water into the entry when that creates pressure inside of there now the pumpkin properly flush itself out, but also release some of the water pressure that's building up inside of there. And now oh, the engine is warmed up, we can change the oil. I think it's right. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Not bad at all. All right, that's a bad idea. We need a funnel. I'll go get one. In that white tub. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's beautiful. Good. Right on target. Once it goes down a little to fill the filter, it'll be perfect, I think. So mom's here in the greenhouse now, trimming the fuchsias. She's already got a pot full of clippings there. Basically just trimming them all back so they're all even. That way when they grow again they'll get even bushier. I got some family members over in number two doing a lot of transplanting. Uh, like my pop and Sammy was over there. And so now I have more room to bring more seedlings out of the seed room. 
you can see, which I actually just brought a ton out, there's still a bunch of empty spots that were full I can bring out and put out here. I just brought all the onions out. One thing about onions that we've figured out now in the past two years is they like to be covered. They like to be planted deep, covered heavy, and as soon as they start sprouting, get them out of that seed room because it gets too warm and they don't like that. This was all the onions, now it's gone. These marigolds and anything really that's coming up here is ready to come out. Even these onions, they're basically ready to come out. They don't like it when it gets to be above like 70, 72. And as you can see, which that's in Celsius right now, that's just 28 degrees Celsius. But like these over here are 82 degrees and that's just too warm for those. So I'm gonna get these out of here and probably take our retail onions out as well. So here we got parsley. Here's some more sweet Spanish onions. I think these onions are ready to come out. Maybe I should let them in one more day. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take some of these marigolds. If you like our channel, please subscribe. I want to make a video. Remember how you said about that one guy lost his ring down in the pasture? Yeah. I want to make a video, metal detecting, and just see. Even if I don't find it, I want to make a video of metal detecting cow pasture. Yeah, when we had an apple orchard there, and he lost his mason ring down there. I don't know if it would be covered up or probably not, you know. It might not be as deep as you think, you know, I'll see. Probably not. So Pap just left. Here's his last flat, I got a water. Got a lot done today. this whole section here and a lot of these two sections right here is what they've done in the past two days which is a lot uh, for only one or maybe two people at most i am going to finish up the day with some rosemary we have to get our last of the plugs planted so i just need to get 50 pots here filled up i'll go over and plant them and then hopefully think about wrapping up for the day And there they are. Rosemary is now finished and planted for the year. So that's what I'm calling it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.